Okay. We just did the rest of this. <laughs> they can take a look at that. In the five minutes or ten minutes or whatever. Okay. So I did something like this. A 2x squared. Technically, what would this do? If the 2x is in the, in the inside the function, that would be a horizontal. Okay. And it's times 2. Do you think it would make it twice as wide? No. You'd think it would, but it's the opposite. Yes. So it's going to horizontally shrink times one half. Half as wide. So if it was perfect, it's reciprocal? Yes, it's going to be its reciprocal. Yep. Its effect is going to be the reciprocal. So if you had one half x in there, then it would be wider? Yes, exactly. Yep. Very good point. Very good point. Okay. So here's the... Here's the rule. This is this. Hopefully, will make your life a lot easier. I have International House pancakes. I love breakfast. I'm telling you, if you ever uh, you ever want to get on my good side, say, "Hey, let's go out for breakfast." I go, "Yeah, yeah, be right there." There's, oh, breakfast any time of day is the greatest thing ever. Okay. When Wendy's struggling with uh, with what we should make for supper, I'm like breakfast. Because <laughs> I make some mean French toast. Oh, that's good. Okay, but I guess the question is, what does International House of Pancakes or IHOP have to do with this? Okay. Inside or input? Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. And inside what? Inside the function, inside the parentheses, inside whatever. What type of change is it going to make? What do you think the H stands for? Horizontal. And what do you think the OP stands for? Come on. Opposite. Yes. Okay, inside, horizontal, opposite. So now this is going to unlock just a ton of things for you. Okay, so um, let me go to a different sheet. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with functions that you've never seen before, and that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's say if I said y equals three cosine of of um, Theta minus um, 90 um, plus 4. Okay? Again, I don't care if you don't know what cosine is. But let's just work on this skill right here. Okay? What's the 4 do to my cosine graph? Up 4. Okay? It's not inside, right? So by a process of elimination, it's a vertical. Invert. It goes up four. I need a pencil that's a little bit sharper. Okay. What's the three do? Yep. So it's just going to go ahead and stretch it. This is the function itself. This is kind of like, um, you know, square root or squared or absolute value, something like that. Okay. So this is a vertical. Stretch times three. Okay, and then that minus ninety, right ninety degrees, because it's a horizontal change. It's going to go right ninety. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, let's go another one. Let's go one half. Oh, let's go back to absolute value. Sometimes absolute value doesn't work the best. Okay. 
This, some of this is kind of silly at this point, but this gets more important uh, next year. So I'm trying to lay some foundation. What's the minus 2 do? Down 2. What's the 1 half do? Half as? No, it's outside. So it's a vertical. Half as? Half as? Not tall. Tall, vertical. Vertical is not width, vertical is height, so half is tall. Okay, and that three, that would be my beat, yep. It's a horizontal. Is it a stretch or a shrink, though? Shrink, because remember, we've got to take it's reciprocal. Horizontal shrink times one third. Right now what I want you to be able to do is just the basics so far of sliding things over, sliding thin, thin thing, things up and down, and one last thing that we're going to be working with <coughs> is what if I have a negative on the inside? Okay, negatives mean flips. Is this thing a horizontal flip or, not, or a vertical flip? flip? Horizontal, because it's where? It's inside, okay? So this is a horizontal flip. Okay? Y equals negative f of x means a... means a... vertical flip. Okay? <coughs> so... Just helps you remember it. If it's inside your parentheses or in affecting the input of your function, it's going to cause a horizontal change to the opposite. I think you asked the other day why. Was that right? You think so? Okay. I think it was. There you go. Good. You just don't remember what the question was. Okay. And that, and that's the one thing you guys got to do is is have a curiosity. Yeah. It's opposite. Why is it opposite? Well, let's take a look at it. If I have y equals x squared. Um, <coughs> Good morning, Uncle Craig. Morning. Are you expressing disappointment that they're not starting with juniors? Natalia. Oh! I told you about in my geometry class about Jack Smith. Did I tell you about that? Yeah. It was great. He, he's usually pretty quiet, but on this day it was like. <laughs> since it's sophomores, he just lit up like a Christmas tree. He's like, yeah. Okay, so right now this is y equals x squared. Understand that I've got to plug in 0 to get 0, 1 to get 1, and 2 to get 4. Are you, are you guys with me on that? Okay. Now let's talk about what happens if I say y equals x, um, let's go minus 3 squared. Okay. So now what this does is before we square it, it steals from our x. It steals three units from our x. So to get the same result <coughs> of zero, what x do I have to plug in now? So an x that is pod like what? Positive three. So now I've got to plug in an x that's bigger to get the same result. So to get my same height that I got before, now I've got to plug in things that are larger. Because this is stealing from, from me and I need to counteract that and plug in something that's bigger. That's why it's opposite. I've got to counteract what's being done to that, my input, and then plug in something that's bigger. So to get one, what would I plug in? Four, okay? To get four, I used to be able to plug in two, but it's stealing three from me, so now what do I got to plug in? No, four for a total result after I square it. Five. Because five, it's going to steal three from me, so now it's two squared, which is four. So what that does 
is this point used to be 0, 0, now it's 3, 0. It moves it to the right. 4, 1, it used to be 1, 1, so it moves it 4 to the right. Or it moves it everything 3 to the right. That's why. Okay? Because it's, 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 it's modifying my input, so I've got to anticipate that modification and do the opposite of what that uh, modification so is going to be. Exactly. Exact same as the parent function, just to the right three. So that's one thing we should probably focus on is from this vertex, I'm going over one, up one. From that, and also from that point, I'm going to go over one, up three. And then it does the same thing, over one, up one, over one, up three. So that's a rigid transformation because it just takes it and plants it three to the right. Okay? So with that being said, let's take a look at what questions you have for the assignment. International, House of Pancakes. We should go there on a field trip. It, on me. Yeah, I'll give you your um, <coughs> graduation present a little early. Well, they'd be assuming that you guys will graduate, which... I, 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 whenever I say something like that, I try and do a, a blanket sweep so somebody doesn't think I'm talking about them. Okay? That's if we graduate. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Technically, it is an identity function. Um, okay. So let's let's think about this. This right here is the identity function because anything we plug in, you get the same result. Five, plug in five, get out five. Plug in ten, get out ten. Okay. Um, so this one they're saying um, identify the type of function. So this one is not the identity function. Okay, it is a linear function. So uh, so bottom line, one thing we could summarize is all linear functions are modification of the identity function. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Good. Nice job catching that. Good. Okay. So, here's the main things we're going to deal with. Constant, quadratic, absolute value, linear. Um, <clears throat> and what I want you to be able to do is on each one of these, I want you to be able to write equations for these. And that's what we're going to do today in class. Um, and I think, so on these, what did you guys do? 14, uh, 10 through 19? Okay. So especially after, after we've taken a look at what we did today for review, real quick, up 4, down 3, um, uh, left one, or I'm sorry, down one, um, up two, this one's inside, so right five, this one's inside, so it's going to be left six. That's what I want you to be able to do, okay? This one, reflection, uh, we didn't do these um, for your assignment, so I'm going to keep those um, for tonight, but what type of reflection, vertical or horizontal? Five. <coughs> Vertical, because it's outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what's up top, flip it down bottom. Okay. So Correct. For right now, yes. So what if I gave you something like this though? Let's let's give you something a little bit more challenging. Here. Yes, I'm making up words. Get over it. Okay. What if I say I had this, and I say that's my f of x. And I say, let's do negative f of x. So on that one, my negative where it's at, is it a vertical or horizontal? Vertical. Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take points that are down here, and where are they going to go? If the points are down here, where are they going to go? Up. Where does this point go that's going to right here? It's going to stay. Nice job, Jacob. What about this one? It's going to stay. This point, this line segment here that was going down, now is going to be going up. This one that was going up is now going to be going down. Does it look like I just took that part and flipped it over? Yeah. 
This part that's going upwards now is going to go down. And so this point's going to stay. So it's going to go like this. That's what a vertical flip will look like. Okay? It just takes all of your y values that used to exist. Now it's going to make it the opposite of what it was before. So if you guys like thinking about coordinates, if this was negative 4, now it's positive 4. If this was 0, the opposite of 0 is 0, so it's not going to move. If this one was positive 5, now it's negative 5. Okay. <coughs> Likewise, if I said... If I want to do a horizontal flip, let's just do something different. Okay. That is actually part of the graph of sine. Let's take a look at what the a horizontal flip of that would be. So if I said y equals sine of negative x, so negative, where's it going to be? Opposite, but well, what, is this a horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. So this part that goes up right here is now going to go up over here. This part that goes down there is now going to go down right there. Does it look like I folded it over? It does kind of look like a mustache. Okay. One well, of the reasons why we deal with uh, reflections and stuff like we did last year in geometry. You know, how does things, how do things move if we reflect them? Okay. So today, I was going to do something else, but I think we better stop around there. Okay. So, so like this, we stopped at 19 the other day. Page 114. Let's go 20 through. through 38. Um, yeah, I think, I think that'll be good. Let's go 40. No, can't do that. So I'm going to get you guys to think about us something from the from the next section. Let's do page. Only two more problems. One one nine, numbers three and four. Perfect. So your sketches today, small graph paper is going to be great. Okay, uh, then you can just make your graphs a little small. On, because um, on these, if you think about it, um, you're going to have a sketch on each one of these. And I will get your quizzes back to you. We may not have time to go over those today.